doing tree work often involves a series of problem-solving situations. We have one here that is not a real complicated one, but it is something that needs to be thought out carefully. As you can see, we've got a split branch right here. It's barely hanging on. It's ready to fall off. The other end is sitting on the ground over on that side, but the weight of it is resting on the fence. It missed the fence post, but if I don't do this just right, that's going to swing and take the fence out. So it's not a real big deal except for the cost of the fence. And it just so happens that this is one of those old grape stake fences that is really hard to find replacement stakes for. He doesn't want to spend a few hundred dollars on fixing the fence. So there's a lot of ways I can do this. Um, let's see, I can tie this off back over to there but then when I make the cut it's going to swing and if it swings it's going to swing here that'll take out the fence um, I can put a prop over on this side maybe but I still have to support that and it's still going to swing so that's probably not the best way either uh, looking around the rest of the tree let's see way up high I've got a spot that I could put a rope way up high that is almost directly over it and it'll take me a little bit longer to get up there and get it set up but that actually might be the best bet if I put the rope way up high and bring it down straight here and tie it to this point uh, then I can make the cut uh, however I have to think about it in terms of rope stretch too because I'll have the rope going all the way up the top of the tree all the way back down and when I make the cut, the rope will stretch probably, oh, six inches or more. And that could break the fence. So, I'm going to work on this one and see what I can do. I'll try and figure it out. I did bring the bucket truck. All right, looking over the fence, I can see that it is not resting on the ground. So, the entire weight of this branch is being held up. A little bit up there and right on this edge so this fence is holding up everything might be a good idea for me to cut a piece of wood and add to this support put a base piece down there and prop it up underneath here so when I do take a little bit of weight off this doesn't come crashing down and make this a more expensive job for the client now this isn't a remarkable job and there's nothing really that complicated about it but I showed up at this job by myself and the client really wanted to protect his fence so I could have went and got one of the guys to help me or I probably should have got somebody else to help me with rope it but I decided to figure out how to do it by myself. Now the the biggest thing to consider here is the what if. You know, the anticipation of what could happen, what might happen. If you're lucky, it, it'll, you'll pull it off and everything will be fine. You know, I, I did get the weight off of it. I did prop it up on the back side. I did get it all supported and tied up in the tree. Uh, but when I got up there, I realized that this was right on the edge of, of breaking. It was just barely hanging on there. And it was a fairly heavy, heavy branch. You know, the wood alone was probably three or 400 pounds, you know, combined weight which would have taken out the fence. But I had to think about this on my own and I had to think about, you know, how can I do this safely? How can I do this um, intelligently and, and without any additional risk? You know, so I, I did have to get up and down a couple times. I did have to, you know, tie the rope a little bit different and, and it, it went pretty smooth. Uh, all in all, this job took me about an hour, hour and a half, I think, including the travel time. Uh, so I was in and out, but the, the point of the story is you've got to anticipate the worst. You might get away with it, but it could go bad. Okay, the job is done. It wasn't as complicated as I anticipated. It could have been very easily. I got the branch down safely. It was probably uh, oh, 11, 12 inch diameter cut there. But what did we learn from this? What did I learn from this? Well, judging by the size of this crack, this is fresh over here, and this is fresh down here. So this crack has been 
open for a long time. This is not something brand new. All the discoloration, all the decay has been getting weaker and weaker. However, this limb was still alive. There's still full of, of foliage on the other side. So this little bit up here and this little bit down here that didn't break was sustaining this limb. Now, in retrospect, I'm looking at this thinking, it's been a long time since anybody's taken a look at this tree. I see big dead limbs, I big dead, big uh, rotten spots, I see decay pockets, I see problems all over the place. And they're not problems that you can fix, but you can certainly make them a lot safer. So I'm going to talk to these people. These aren't the client. The people with the fence are the client, so I have to go over. I'm going to, I think I'm just going to leave this here intact so they can see what's going on. It'll make a better impression that way. And I'm done. Pull a little bit of polyurethane glue in there. Kind of stuck them together. Kind of a temporary fix, but it'll make it look a little bit better. It's good as new. Almost. <laughs>